Now, one of the things I really love about editing my images in Lightroom Desktop and Lightroom Mobile is that in there, it gives me unlimited access to unlimited amounts of presets. And this is something that up until recently, Lightroom Classic users have not had access to. However, I say not until recently because there is a workaround and that's what I wanna show you in this video. All right, so this is the image that I want to retouch first of all. So I'll press P to get rid of the uh, stuff on the left-hand side, give me a bit more space. Now, obviously doing this in Lightroom Desktop, we're gonna go through a few retouching steps, and then I wanna show you the thing about the presets, which means that every single user, regardless of the platform that you're working on in Lightroom, be it desktop, classic, or mobile, you can have access to unlimited presets. But let's just quickly work through some of the steps in this image. So when I look at this image here, because it was taken low down with a wide angle, we do have a little bit of distortion here, perspective distortion in these beach huts. So I'm gonna fix that. That's the first thing that's screaming out to me. So I'm gonna to go to the crop tool. I'll then come down to the geometry here. And at the moment it says upright is off. So we'll click on the little arrow there and I'll just choose the auto. That then is gonna sort out the actual perspective of the image and you'll see that pop into place just there, perfect and we'll then go to the presets. So here we have the presets. Now, the section here, this recommended section, is ordinarily what is only available for people who have got the desktop and the mobile versions. And if you don't know, the way this works is, Lightroom analyzes your image and across the community looks at thousands and thousands of different presets and chooses ones that are gonna be suitable or could be suitable for your particular image, depending on the look that you're going for. And you can see here, look straight away, it's thrown back quite a few different uh, examples of presets in here for me. And I can scroll down here to sort of see more and more of them. But what I can also do is when I've chosen a preset, is let's say I really like this one in the top left here, which I actually do really like this one. When I hover over it, we get this option that says more like this. And this is where the presets can just keep going and going and going to give you unlimited amounts of presets. So for example, if I click on more like this, I think I like this one, but I wanna see some variations of it. I click on more like this, and then it scans across the community and it'll throw back so many other different variations of presets of that particular look. So you can, again, you can scroll down to see more and more of them here. But also across the top here, you've got different categories where you can see, look, I want the preset to be a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler. And when you click on these, it'll give you, again, infinite number of different presets based on that look that you can then go for. And again, each of these, look, as I come over it, we have that more like this option. So this goes to show that there are unlimited presets built into Lightroom Desktop and Lightroom Mobile. However, what would Lightroom Classic users do? How could they get access to all of these particular kind of presets? Well, it's a really, really simple fix. So what I'll do first of all, let me just come out of the presets here. Let's just take this back to normal. And yeah, we'll go to this particular stage here. Now, all it will mean for this kind of little bit of a workaround, if I just bring up the left-hand side again. All you would need to do in Lightroom Classic is to create a collection and include the image that you want to retouch. Put that into the collection and then just sync that with Lightroom. Now, here's one that you might not be aware of. I'm gonna go over to my browser here, my Google browser, and I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna to go to this website, lightroom.adobe.com. And when I go to that, it opens up the web version of my Lightroom. If you were a classic user, when you log in, unless you'd synced other images, the only one you would see is the one that you've just added into the collection and then synced with Lightroom. So for example, let's just go down to the folder where I had that particular image. Here it is here. So this is the image here that I'd uh, wanting to kind of do some work on. Let's say we're gonna go, right, now I wanna get access to all those unlimited amounts of presets. That perspective crop hasn't, um, synced over just yet. Let's just give myself a little bit more room there. So I will go to the crop. And what I, do you know what I love about using Lightroom Web? It's really quick and it's not dependent on your computer's processing power. Really, really quick. So let me just kind of just sort this out here. We'll go to auto, bang, done. Really cool. Let's go to the presets just here. So here we go. Look, recommended presets. So again, it analyzes your image and it gives you access to all that. I mean, look how quick this is. Really, really quick to use. 
Again, we get the more like this. So I kind of like that one. I really like that one. And we can increase or decrease the effect. But I really like that. But let's have a look at the more like this. Bang, straight up. Again, really, really responsive. I love how this is so quick. But now I can kind of click through to see different variations of that particular image. That one's maybe a little bit too strong. What's this one like down here? I quite like that one. That one's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that one. I do like that one. What's that one like? But you can see how you can just very, very quickly dive between all these kind of looks. But I think I might just kind of stick with that one just there. I can increase or decrease the effect. So yeah, happy with that. And again, obviously with, with this being a preset, when we go to the edit section, all of the settings that went into making that preset are available to us to affect, unlike profiles. So we can play around with these to give it a bit more of a look that we want. So I might just bring down the contrast on that a touch just there. Shadow details looking good. Let's look at the highlights like in that. I might want to do something just to the sky a little bit more. So let's go to the masking. I'll click on, uh, in fact, no, tell you what, let's go to the presets. Why not? In the premium section here, we have adaptive presets. So we've got one here, we've got golden hour. Let's click on golden hour. Wow, really quickly applies it. And I've got an amount slider just there for that. So liking that, come out of the presets. And I think the last thing I'll do here is I'll come down to the effects section here. I might just add a little bit more texture into it as well. So really cool. So now that we can see the before and after in the compare view over here, left-hand side is before, right-hand side is after. Now, of course, because what we've done, imagining now that I am a Lightroom Classic user, we've synced the image up into, into the uh, Lightroom. We've done all these edits on Lightroom Web, which is really, really fast. All of those settings there will then sync back into my Lightroom Classic so that I've got it all there. So I could then save all that as a preset. So these recommended presets really do open up, and they're not just for Lightroom Desktop and Lightroom Mobile users. With them being on the web, when we're sat at our computers, working in, say, something like Lightroom Classic, and we want to have access to them, we just share it, we go online, very, very quick, responsive Lightroom on the web there, and catch, catch all those settings just there, and we can save them as well. So I just wanted to quickly dive on with this short video to show you, just in case you weren't aware of it, Number one, the fact that there are those recommended presets out there which have more like this and more like this. So it's just infinite supply of presets, but also about that Lightroom on the web. Unbelievable. Really, really useful. Really useful and very, very responsive. And what I like is the fact that it's not dependent on how uh, the processing power of your computer. It's all being done on that web. Uh, so yeah, very cool. And obviously presets, just to say about presets, you know, I'm not one who believes in like presets being a one-click fix. There's not one preset that's going to work with one click across loads of different images. They're always going to need a little bit of tweaking. And when you think about it, the name there, pre-settings, you apply those, then you can go in to tweak the settings to your taste. But they are really good as a starting point if you're kind of not sure which direction to take your picture. So there you go, unlimited, unlimited presets in Lightroom, no matter what platform, Lightroom Classic, Lightroom Desktop, Lightroom Mobile, and of course, Lightroom on the web. I'll catch you in the next video.